Hey guys, it's iMaster. Today I'm going to be showing you my review of the application Espresso. You may have noticed that the camera is taking my whole screen today. Uh, I'm doing that because this application really takes the whole screen. So sorry if some things are hard to see, but let's get into this review. So Espresso is an application, sadly it's not free, but there is a free demo that you can download, links all in the description guys. So Espresso, what it is, is it's basically a web editor. What I mean by that, you can edit HTML, CSS, and really a bunch more. I'll talk about this later. So Espresso is made by MacRabbit. And I'm just going to take you through basically creating a project, creating some new files, and just all the really, really cool stuff you can do with it. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and create a new project. All right, we'll save it as tutorial. Just make it on the desktop. And there we go. You can see it just created a new folder for us, which will house all of our files. So right off the bat, we can create a new file. I'll call this, um, I don't know, home. Let's make it an HTML file. All right. So the first thing when we're writing an HTML file um, is probably going to be to insert the doc type. So down here, it has some built-in snippets that we can use. So what that is, is it, it's really helpful pieces of code that you use a lot. So if I want to insert some HTML 4.01 transitional, I just... Uh, click boom it's there you can also add a new snippet such as mine I have import style sheet because this is one that I use a lot so what I can click done then let me go ahead you may notice that it does have text completion as well which is very handy so in our head let's go ahead and insert a style sheet so there I just clicked and it's there. It saves a lot of time, especially if you have if you get to the point where you can really build up this snippets repository or depository. Okay. So once we have our uh, sheet or our whatever our page the way we like it, we can start a preview. So there we go, we have a preview right in here. It's a one window thing, but you can make it as many windows as you'd like. So for example, if I wanted this preview to be in another window, I simply click, drag, drop. And now we have this preview, and the best part is it auto updates. So like watch this text here, let me add some more. Um, I didn't even have to refresh and it added it right there. Um, so I really like that it makes just the whole process so much faster. Okay, so CSS files, you know, they're the same way. Um, all right, um, let me go ahead and reference. I can, it's not just previews, you could drag other um, files out too, but you drag them from the workspace. I'll talk more about the workspace in a minute. All right, let me get this style sheet. Let me just go ahead and give it a background color to illustrate a point. One thing I really like about Espresso is the navigator. If you noticed, when I added this color right here, it change the background color of this little um, box thing which houses our color so it shows us the ID which is test uh, the ID of the div and then it shows us the background color so let me change this to a nice red or blue that's what I meant blue so now it changed to a kind of cyan I guess is what you would call that color this works for text color as well. You can also have snippets in CSS as well, but you will add them yourself. All right, now moving on to the sidebar towards the left. 
you can see we have um, our workspace, which is all the files that we're editing at the moment. Our project, which is all the files in our folder. And you can also, like, let's say you have an image folder in your tutorial, in your um, main project folder that it created for you. If I were to insert another file in there, it would appear here. Okay, so watch. Copy. Paste that right here. All right, so I pasted it. If you notice, it added that here. So now I can drop this down and bring this image, simple drag and drop. It gives me the direct location, which we could, of course, simplify. That is another super cool feature. You may notice that these blue dots towards the side of the file names, that indicates that we have unsaved changes on those files. So if I go and save, save, you'll notice no more blue dots. All right, to illustrate this next feature of Espresso, I have added some a few more attributes to our div that we created called test. I've simply added a specified width, height, padding, and a left margin. Now what I'm going to show you is the inspect element feature. What you do is in a preview, right click or control click, click inspect element. Now we have something that looks very extremely similar to Safari's expect element um, window. So let's say we go to this div. It highlights that div for us, which is really cool. All right. So if I roll over that, it shows us the div. If I roll over body, it highlights the body. If I roll over um, HTML, it hi uh, go highlights the HTML up here. So that's really cool. But that's not even the coolest part. The coolest part is the CSS uh, box model. I think that's what you call it. Let me go ahead and expand this. Okay. So what we have is down here when you go into metrics. The box model basically shows you all of your settings that you've got. So if you look over here, I have five pixels of padding. So in this padding region, it gives me five pixels in each side. Margin left, I have 10 pixels. So in the margin reading region, it shows me the 10. Really easy way of just kind of organizing your whole layout. Also, here, you can get rid of whatever you want and see how it would look. For example, if I want to get rid of the background color, click that, it's gone. Click back, it's there. Get rid of the width. Well, can't do that. Um, I can get rid of the margin left, there. Get rid of the padding, there. Get rid of height, there. The reason the width's not working, guys, is because I was messing with this earlier. That's another thing. You can edit these settings individually, but notice they don't take effect on your style.css. So if you were to change something on here, be sure to go and change it here as well. The last thing that I'm going to go over um, is it has a built-in FTP client. Now, some of you I'm sure will want it to stay with Cyberduck, whatever, but guys, this is extremely fast, like ridiculously fast. All right, so if I go to settings, um, it's really not the settings for applications, the FTP settings. So I can add a server for this project. Nickname, I'll call it tutorial. Protocol FTP, you'll enter the server, username, password. If you have any questions about that, you know, y'all can always PM me. Um, then we'll then we would click save guys. It's just about it. Thanks for watching rate count subscribe. Bye